Alright, uh, okay, so I'm just going to make a really quick video about uh, explaining um, the new Paragon 2.0 system and why it's uh, probably a good idea to get as many characters to as high as of Paragon level as you can before the release of the expansion. Uh, so Blizzard recently announced, um, just a couple of days ago, uh, the new Reaper of Souls expansion. Um, and on top of that, they released a whole bunch of information about what's going to be in the expansion, uh, the new loot, the new class, Act 5, Level 70, um, you know, the new loot run systems, all that stuff. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about right now for the next few minutes is the change, uh, Paragon 2.0, uh, which is the complete revamp of the Paragon system. And uh, one of the most important changes is that Paragon is now account wide, which means you can play on any character that you want, and you'll constantly be working towards your account's Paragon level. So you can be Paragon level 65 on your wizard, and then you can level up to 67, and then you you know you could decide you're tired of playing your wizard, and then you could go to your witch doctor, and you could play your witch doctor, and your witch doctor is still going to be level 67. You could play on your witch doctor, get to level you know 68. And when you're tired of your witch doctor, you'd hop back to your wizard, and you'll still be level 68. So Paragon is an account-wide feature now. You can play any character you want on your account, and you can keep progressing your Paragon level. Uh, on top of that, Paragon is now no longer going to have a level limit. So right now, Paragon is capped at level 100, and it takes about 10 billion experience to get from Paragon level 0 to Paragon level 100. Um, but after the expansion, Paragon is going to have no limit. So you can keep leveling up your Paragon as long as you get the experience. You'll progress to the next level and you can keep going on and on and on. And I'm sure Blizzard is going to plan out, uh, you know, the Paragon system so that nobody's ever going to get past, you know, say like, you know, level 500 or something like that. But, you know, theoretically, you can keep progressing your Paragon level, um, forever and ever and ever. So there's always going to be incentive to grind, there's always going to be incentive to kill things, and there's always going to be incentive to maximize your experience um, output. So that's really important. And then of course, here's the most important change, and this is why I think a lot of people are going to be spending the next few months in the game until the release of the expansion, um, or until the release of the new Paragon changes, grinding out characters to Paragon level 100, is that when the expansion goes live, um, the Paragon change will be retroactive, which means however much Paragon experience you have shared across your entire account, you're going to keep that total experience pool when the expansion launches. So if you have one Paragon level 100, that's 10.5 billion total experience. When the expansion launches, you're going to have 10.5 billion Paragon experience uh, ready to go. So assuming that they don't change the, the experience requirements for Paragon levels, you're going to be roughly Paragon level 100, or you're actually going to be Paragon level 100 when the expansion releases. And now here's the real kicker, here's the real challenge here. This is the reason why I think a lot of people are going to be um, challenging themselves to get a lot of characters to Paragon level 100, is if you max out your entire account, which is 10 character slots, each account can have 10 character slots, um, and this is just on uh, the normal servers, this is not assuming hardcore, uh, this is just on normal. Um, if you max out 10 characters at Paragon level 100, that's 10.5 billion experience points per character, um, which means that when the expansion launches, you'll have 10 times that. You'll have the total, the total pool of your entire account's experience. So you'll have 105, close to 105 billion experience, which is the absolute highest amount that you could have before the expansion launches. And you'll have that experience pool, which means you'll be at the very top of the game in terms of uh, Paragon levels when the expansion launches. So assuming that they don't change the... Um, Assuming they don't change the experience curves for Paragon, you're going to be looking at, you know, on the upper 100s or, you know, even maybe the lower 200 Paragon level uh, for your entire account when the expansion launches. And of course, this is uh, where the Paragon 1000 challenge comes from because the expansion is going to be released sometime next year. You know, trying to get as many characters to Paragon level 100 as you possibly can, really min-maxing your time, really going for that maximum optimal experience per hour, and uh, getting ready for the expansion. So, um, you know, that's just, just want to explain how, how the system works, uh, how the changes are. I know a lot of people ask questions about this stuff uh, in the live stream. And um, if you guys do have any further questions, um, feel free to let me know in the comments or feel free to stop by the live stream and let me know in the chat. Or if you really want to let me know, you can send me a Twitch message. Um, I usually, uh, usually get back to those when I'm done streaming. So thanks again. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check out the Twitch stream, which is twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. There should be, um, there should be a link uh, below the video as well. And, of course, uh, the Twitter as well, uh, twitter.com slash goodideagaming. 
make sure to subscribe to the uh, to the YouTube channel if you guys enjoy the videos. That'd be really awesome. And uh, of course, uh, I'll see you guys uh, soon. So have a good have a good day, evening, morning, wherever you, wherever you are, U.S., Europe, whatever time you're watching the video. And I hope to catch you guys uh, with another video later. So have fun, everyone.